Today's episode, I am going to show you how I turned a black cast iron incense burner into something that resembles Aladdin's lamp from Disney's animated feature film. And I might throw in a couple of bit of tidbits about the original tale that the story is based on. For this project, I am using something called Rub and Buff. It's a gold leaf cream that comes in a tube, and you can get it in the gold leafing section at Michael's. I believe you could probably get it at Hobby Lobby. The lamp I actually found at Ross, and I don't go to Ross very often, but when I do, I always ask myself why I don't. <laughs> I always find something there that is not something that I typically would f like run into at a department store and there's just something about Ross especially in the home decorating area that I'm just really attracted to so obviously you are going to have to wipe this down so that there isn't any debris and then of course dry it then um, you can open up your tube. It has a piercing mechanism on the top cap so that it opens right up and you can simply apply it to whatever it is that you are gold leafing or you can put it on your finger. Now don't uh, don't do what I did. I did this indoors and I did it specifically because when I was reading on the back it told me that I could put it on my fingers uh, without a glove and so I thought oh this is you know pretty safe to use what I didn't realize was it has a huge huge grotesque vapor coming out of it that is actually harmful so you are going to want to use this in a well ventilated area you'll see that I only put just a little bit on it and I began rubbing, rubbing it around with my finger this actually the amount that I put on it went a long way it I think covered the entire top there's there's the entire top right there and it even went down to the bottom somewhat so when you get ready to do whatever project that you're going to do with the gold leafing I would start small and work from there because this cream really did go a long way one of the reasons why I was so excited to do this project is I have a book of collected fairy tales from the Middle East called the Arabian Nights and Aladdin is one of the fairy tales in that book something that's interesting about that fairy tale in particular is that the setting is in China but the book has Muslim and Arabic names in it so it's very representative of the fact that these tales were passed on orally and that is something that just truly fascinates me. Now once I got the lamp completely covered I noticed that there was some areas that were hard to get to and so I took a q-tip to uh, get into those crevices and cover it up really well. After you get it completely covered the way that you want you can put it in a well ventilated area again don't do what I did so that it can dry and it needs to dry for about 12 hours I think it was I might would give it 24 hours just to be safe now this is going to go in display with the book that I bought along with a couple other little trinkets and I think I'm going to add a gold ring along with it because in the original tale there was two genies one that came from a lamp and one that came from a ring and so because it's a fairy tale room and not a Disney room I really want to accentuate the original tales so there you have it this is the completed uh, look that's going to be on display in my shelf so if you like this project be sure to click the like button below because that'll indicate to me that you want to see more of these crafts that I do for my fairy tale room and if you know somebody that's extra crafty you might even convince them to do something like this for you if you share it with them so go ahead and share away be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can stay updated on everything that's going on in my fairy tale room I'm gonna be sharing more projects and maybe even give you a tour so stay tuned for that until next time bye